Hello, this is Tic Tac, and in this video, I will show you the basics of autopilot in the Airbus A320neo. So, in the, this video, I will cover how to use the auto thrust, the heading selection, the altitude selection, and the vertical speeds, and how to uh, climb and descend using the autopilot. So, uh, let's get started. So, the first thing what we'll do is um, Select this flight director switch over here, and this will show some extra things on our primary display over here. Uh, and then for this, you will have some um, numbers shown most likely here. And these numbers are is the pressure outside. So, um, so the air traffic control will give you the pressure usually, and then. You change but for this uh, we're using standard because we're using flight level so just press the down arrow here and it will switch to SDD which means standard. So now uh, we'll start using the autopilot. So the autopilot panel is over here and we've got the speed knob, the heading knob, the altitude knob and the vertical speed knob. So um, what we'll do uh, first is uh, to select the altitude. So you can just rotate the uh, knob by uh, using the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse or just click when you see the arrows and then press the down to engage this and then the same for heading so let's choose a heading of let's say like uh, 080 and then press the down up. Now to engage the autopilot what we'll do is uh, you have two of these switches AP1 and AP2 uh, they're two different autopilots, they do the same thing, but one's just, just in case the first one breaks. So you can choose whichever one you want, and then just uh, press it. And as you can see, uh, on our display over here, we've got uh, 12000, 12,000 feet selected in blue, that means that's the uh, altitude we're climbing to. And we've also got a blue triangle over here, and that's the heading we've selected. So the next thing what we'll do is uh, select our speed on the auto thrust. So to enable the auto thrust, we press this switch over here, and that's turned it on. And now we've got this knob, and we can change our speed over to here. So I'll set it to, uh, let's say, let's go for 300 knots. Uh, so we'll just rotate it to get 300. And then we press the uh, down arrow here. When you see the down arrow, just click it. And then that will uh, create a light blue uh, triangle here. And as you can see, our speed starts decreasing. Now, uh, what you need to remember with the uh, auto thrust in the Airbus A320 that um, there's also this thing that it will only work if it's in between CL and zero here. It won't work if you're in, in uh, MCT mode or toga mode. So uh, if I move my thrust levers forwards uh, into toga, as you can see, uh, my auto toe thrust doesn't work and it just accelerates. Once I move it into MCT mode, it still doesn't work, but as soon as I get it into CL mode, then uh, my uh, auto uh, thrust starts working and uh, the speed is set to the correct amount and there's also this thing if I'll increase it a bit so let's say uh, 340 uh, yeah and uh, there's also uh, these uh, thrust levers are used to set the maximum speed of my uh, auto thrust so uh, right now as you can see it will stabilize a bit and then I'll show you so uh, it's holding uh, around 46% N1, yeah, uh, 50%, and the arrows over here, and as you can see, there's a little uh, white circle here, that is set by my thrust levers, and that shows the maximum power my auto thrust can use. So as I move my uh, thrust levers backwards, now, the circle moves back, and when it gets the, the arrow, it says it caps the maximum speed at which the engines can go and the auto thrust can't, can't go any faster. So if you want your uh, 
engines to run with less power, then you could use this to reduce the uh, speed. But uh, I just recommend for uh, for you to just keep it at CL mode. So just keep it here, as you can see. CL is selected with this, and then uh, your auto thrust has the most uh, ability to uh, to use the different power of the engine. So now let's say you want to uh, turn your plane. So air traffic control told you that you need to turn and they told you to turn to a heading of 120 degrees. So what you'll go, uh, where you'll go is um, you'll go over here to the panel and then you've got the heading underneath there's a knob and you'll just change this to uh, 120. And as you can see our plane has started turning and we're now turning to the right and the blue triangle on this display has moved to the number 12 and our plane will uh, turn over there. And the same goes for uh, speeds. If you want to uh, decrease your speed, you just rotate the knob and the triangle will move, will move down and we will slow down. However, altitude changing is a bit uh, more complicated, so I'll go through this now. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, so, uh, to change altitude, there's uh, two methods. You can use the vertical speed switch, and you can also use the, um, uh, the other way, which it uses the uh, speed to hold the speed, but climbs at uh, any climb rate. So, let's start with open climb. So, open climb uses any climb rate, and it just makes sure it keeps the speed. So if we want to uh, climb at the speed of 330 knots, then we can uh, just, let's say we climb to uh, uh, flight level 150, and then we'll press the, um, the down here. And on this display, we see uh, we've got 150, flight level 150. And here we've got the option OP climb, which means open climb. And this means we will aim to keep the speed around 330 knots, which we've set here. And it will climb at any rate as long as it's able to keep that speed. So as you can see, we're climbing now at uh, a rate of around uh, 4,000 feet per minute. So that's quite fast. Uh, so as long as the plane is able to keep that speed, then we're uh, doing that. And soon we'll start leveling off. So... Uh, wait for that. Uh, so now we're in outstar mode, which means our plane is starting to level off and capture that altitude. And now it's going to slow down a bit and get that altitude. So we're now at flight, flight level 157. So now I'll show you how to use uh, the vertical speed. So, um, so this is the vertical speed knob, and uh, this is used to change uh, altitude uh, using the vertical speed. So if you want to set a, a climb rate, and if we go back here, as, as you can see, we've leveled off now, and we're in alt mode, which means altitude. So it's holding the present altitude. So to change uh, our uh, altitude using the vertical speed. We can uh, increase our altitude, and then you can uh, select this, and then that will uh, set our altitude over here, flight level one, 180. And then if you want to use the vertical speed, you could turn this knob, and let's say we want it at 2,000 feet per minute, and then we engage it by pressing this when pressing it down. And then, as you can see on this display over here, we've got VS plus 2000, and that means it will aim to keep a vertical speed of around 2000 feet per minute. This won't be perfect, but it will be around, it, as you can see on it. I'm rising at 
2200 but it's close enough sometimes it does something crazy but <laughs> yeah uh, so that's that and if we want to level off anytime we just put it up and that will level off at our pleasant height a little bit higher but as you can see it's leveling off and if you want to continue then just increase it again and then we'll just press the down arrow. So what you have to watch out when using uh, the autopilot. So uh, you have to always check what's on this display because this is showing you what's happening. This is just the setting. So for example, if you just change this knob and don't press it down, this thing says that we're going to an altitude of 20,000 feet, but Actually, we're not, because on this display, it doesn't say that. Uh, we're only keeping an uh, altitude of 18,000. So you always need to make sure that you've pressed the down, uh, press the knob down, and then it will change flight level 200, and then that will uh, change our altitude. So you need to make sure that's pressed down. Now, uh, what you have to watch out also is when you're using uh, the yoke or the mouse yoke especially. So if you use your uh, mouse yoke and then start spinning with the switch, as you can see it's moving. But if I uh, do something else that the autopilot doesn't want to do, for example, move it somewhere, it will disengage the autopilot. So, uh, and now it's disengaged. To uh, re-engage it, what you have to do is press the AP1 or AP2 button, but make sure you turn your yoke off or uh, don't touch the yoke if you have an actual physical yoke and then you can engage it again by pressing the AP button. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and it helped you use uh, the autopilot in the A320 Neo. Uh, if it did please press the like button, subscribe for more videos and if you have any ideas for what videos I could make in the future then please put them down in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time